Welcome to Old Ways Gardening and Prepping. My name is Teresa. I'd like to welcome you to my backyard. And today's a happy day. I finally get to plant my sweet potato slips. The straw bells are ready. Now you will notice when you do it this way, you will have some straw that will germinate or some wheat that will germinate. You just pluck them out. There's, it's not weeds, it's baby uh, wheat plants germinating, which also means it's a good sign because it means that your straw bales have not been sprayed with herbicide. You cannot use herbicide sprayed straw. Uh, so let's get busy. I'm happy. My sweet potato slips are going to be happy as well to finally get where they're supposed to be growing just in the camera so that you can see okay that should be good all right now what i'm going to do is i'm going to do four uh, sweet potato slips per bale and i'm just going to stagger them everything has started to break down very nicely it's easy to get into the bales, which is what you want to see. You want to see mushrooms growing, which are fine. Don't worry about them. Now, this is a mix of really good compost and black cow manure, which I'm going to put in the hole with the sweet potato slip. just going to give them a, a little added boost to grow. Now it's a muggy day today, but thankfully it's overcast skies, so my slips should do fine. And they are beautiful, and these are beautiful big red boar guard sweet potatoes. Look at the beautiful roots. Now I'm going to put back some of the leaves so I can plant them even deeper. And it's official. I have my first sweet potato planted. It has broke down really nicely. Trim my leaves back and plant it as deep as I can get it. want to push that soil down deep because you want to make sure that there are no air pockets.
there's another beautiful sweet potato slip. And as you can see, they will continue to make roots up the stem, however deep you plant them. Bales are still very nice and still moist. Beautiful, healthy, sweet potato slip. Alright, that's one bell down. Thankfully, no weeds are coming up. It's just wheat seeds germinating. Big, beautiful, sweet potato slips. Absolutely gorgeous. I'll bring y'all closer so y'all can continue to watch me. But look how beautiful those are.
to sweet potato squills. Now they've been acclim acclimated to the, the sun and the heat already, so they should be fine. Look at the root system on that one. Okay, that's two more bells planted. melting out here. The humidity is something else. I, I'm going to pause it here and continue to finish planting my bales and I will bring you back as soon as I am finished. Okay, welcome back. I am done planting what sweet potato slips I had. I had enough slips to plant five of my six bales which I'm not worried because I'm fixing the water, the bucket that my uh, seed sweet potatoes are in. And before long, they will start sending up even more slips. Now, I have put in some sweat equity, but hey, no pain, no gain. Now, I'm going to water them in. You want to try not to get them. Get the water on the leaves because they will fry in the sun. I just want to get the planting medium wet. To activate the cow manure. Don't worry, they're probably going to wilt just a little bit, but they'll be perfectly fine. Sweet potatoes are strong. Before long, these sweet potatoes are going to go crazy growing. But like I said, you want to make sure you don't get the leaves wet because that will cause them to sunburn and fry. But it's normal for them to wilt some and once they once the sun starts going down, they will pop right back up. The bales are nice and moist, but I want to just make sure that that cow manure and the potting, or the potting soil and compost are wet. Ooh, thankfully, the sun's going behind the clouds. Let me make sure I water this some more, because these will start to shoot up more sweet potato slips here soon. Ooh, sweat equity. 
Okay, I hope you find this video informative and inspiring that it encourages you to grow sweet potatoes as well. Now, I have a previous video showing the 10-day process that I used and how I built my uh, bale raised garden step by step. So if you want to go back into my video uh, playlist, you will find that. It's not very far back. Please click the like and subscribe button so you can come along with me on other adventures. Sorry, I'm melting. <laughs> <coughs> this is simple and easy to do. Anybody can grow sweet potatoes. You don't have to grow them in bales. You can grow them in the ground. They're just, I'm not big on growing them in the ground because I don't like to poke them with the pitchfork when I'm digging them up. And this is a whole lot easier to do. And you can also plant them, grow sweet potatoes in large planters. You just want to do one or two plants for, per planter. I hope you will hit the bell notification so you'll be notified when I upload other videos. Go outside, get you some natural sunlight, dig in the soil, plant some plants. It's healthy, it's healing, and you'll feel better. I hope you have a blessed day. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Everyone take care and believe in yourself. You can do it.